So thanks to Jeffrey, we are right in the spot. Jeffrey is one of the Angama guides and we've caught up again with this beautiful female cheetah who's eyeing a herd of Thompson's gazelles. There they are. Now there's a bit too much open ground between where she is and where they are for her to make a successful hunt at the moment. So it looks like she hasn't had a successful day. Now remember this is 100% live coming to you from the Mara Triangle in Kenya's Maasai National Reserve. And we're with a hungry female cheetah who's keeping a close eye on some Thompson's gazelles. Now what she'll want is for them to move into slightly longer grass, which it looks like they're doing. So I want to keep a quick close eye on her because she might move quite quickly into a position where she might be able to successfully stalk them. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. Now let's see what she gets up to now. Looks like she's contemplating a move. The Tommies are not facing her at the moment. And they are jogging off into longer grass. Now I'm not sure if they spotted her before we arrived. I don't think so. But when you're a, a Thompson's gazelle, being a nervous Nelly is a good thing. That keeps you alive. Okay, she's on the move. She's on the move. So as they've moved into that longer grass, look at that. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? Not quite sure of her name. So what I'm going to do, Dave, is because otherwise we're going to lose her. I'm just going to reverse quickly. So we've got a full sweep. Because she might go at any second. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let me just get on the right side of the termite mound. Okay. There we go, she's on the move. She's off, she's off. She's probably 55, 60 meters. She's on the move again. She's getting closer. And this long grass is paying into her advantage. There she goes, she's about to hit full speed. There she goes. She's coming right towards us. She's right on that male Thompson's gazelle's tail. Oh no, he's gonna get away. Oh dearie me, my poor girl, that was so close! Wow! Unbelievable! Oh flop down, you shame my girl, that was so close! Let me just get a little bit closer. Oh dearie me! Oh! She's giving us heart failure this, she's giving us heart failure this afternoon and this morning. So close. So, so close. Tommy's living on, living on borrowed time at the moment. Um, I'm just going to stop shortly, I just need to get through this big ditch. Hold on. And, and we're going to... Jeffrey's just going to go in front of us. He's the, the man who called us uh, to tell us that he had found her. We we're both looking for her on different sides. Oh, look, out, look at that. She's actually lucky. She's actually lucky she didn't catch that Thompson's gazelle. Because there we go. One of the marauding members of the North clan of hyenas would have been right on her in a second. You see that? The marauding North clan member? Yeah. Oh, she's lucky. She would have lost that kill in a second with the, the marauding hyenas here. Now, this whole area is actually a swamp during most of the year, and I can't remember the name of it. It's quite a, a long name, but I've been nicknaming it the Clan Lands because there are so many hyenas. There we go. It is called the Opunyata Swamp is where we are at the moment, but 
there's, there's over 80 hyenas from the North clan spread through here. So it's probably not the best place. So look at that. I mean, I, I often say as we, oh, I've got this upside down. There we go. Sorry, I'm in the way there. Um, so often as we drive down here, you can sometimes see 15 or 20 hyena heads just pop up. H. Macy, how are you? H. Macy is wondering how many cheetah there are there in the Mara. And, well, I know for certain in the Mara Triangle, uh, there's at least three females and three males. There's probably quite a few more. Those are the only ones I know about so far. But there is always the chance there could be more. I am waiting for the exact information from the Cheetah Research Project. They unfortunately are away at the moment. So as soon as they're back, I will be able to find out all that. But I know about this female, Mlima, a female I've seen, uh, another female that I'm not sure of, um, uh, she doesn't think she has a name, and then two, two male cheetah called the Olololo boys, um, which are further down south. But there are definitely more cheetah on the, on the other side of the river, outside of the triangle. Now, it could be just the density of lions here and hyenas is quite thick. And that's why. And there we go. Darby, how was that for you? Heart racing. Heart racing. She came straight towards us. It was amazing. Um, so, guys, how about that? One word tweet. Hashtag Safari Live. Are you okay, Dave? Yeah, what happened to you? Dave, I thought he was crying with emotion. <laughs> Dave has got something in his eye. I thought he was crying with emotion, but no, nope, he's just crying um, with a bug in the eye and the tears of joy um, of the thrill of a cheetah, cheetah chase. So hashtag Safari Live, one word tweet. How did that cheetah chase make you feel? She came right towards us.